I have found EEC is an issue that impacts many, many segments. Family looking for access to high quality care for their children. The workforce that employs those families. And you, the EEC workforce. Not to mention the moral duty that we have to serve our youngest and most vulnerable children to the best of our ability. <laughs> this legislative session, as we consider making substantive investments in our public schools, we would be remiss to not include investments in early education and care. You can apply. school readiness and is a pathway to economic to academic success. I'm proud of the record high investments that the House has championed providing increases in rates for the EEC workforce. I'm also proud that for the second year we doubled our previous funding provided $2.5 million to address behavioral health issues in our EEC programs. So programs are able to address those issues before a child starts kindergarten. <laughs> Yesterday at the Boston, Greater Boston Chamber of Commerce breakfast, I announced the House's investments of an additional $1 million to support innovative programming that integrates high quality early education and care with health care services. forward-looking forward -looking models, like the work being undertaken by the Neighborhood Villages in partnership with the Codman Squid Health Center that we should be championing. We should encourage and holistic approaches to serving children and families by coordinating affordable, high-quality child care with health and wellness wraparound services, while at the same time, we make added investments that bolster the EEC workforce to guarantee its success. I hope that I can work with you, and I think I can, <laughs> to promote early education and care across the Commonwealth. Again, I want to thank you for inviting me here 